Hey guys, 9tailfox92 here, and this is a guide to build your own survival games map. We are going to be looking at the map Winds of Change, which I recently completed. So to start with, you need to make sure you have a solid concept. There's a handy part of the forums called um, Map Ideas, where you can go look at community ideas that people have submitted and get a cool idea, and then from that point, I go looking for concept ideas, um, pictures to show what I want to build, and I build off those so you can just search like landscape concepts and stuff. But yeah, from that point, I suggest you um, maybe make a Word document and gather everything together so you can get a really clear idea of what you're doing. If you aren't confident enough to build by yourself, you can always as a group select pictures of your concept and yeah you just you really want a solid concept down to get a good map so you don't want to build random things because if you build random things you'll be able to see in the map you want it to be very like concise and to get your theme across so um the second major thing you need is a good layout um for a good survival games map, there's a balance between gameplay and looks. And to get good gameplay, it's all to do with the layout. Good maps such as, well not good maps, good gameplay maps such as SG4, Breeze Island, maybe Icarus. Um, they're good for gameplay because it's the way they're laid out. Um, you need distinct sections for a good gameplay map so people can say like on SG4, people know the airport, or there's the crashed plane, or there's the train, the train station, and it's easy, identifiable places. People can say, like, oh, I'm at the airport, and everyone knows exactly where you are, so then everyone goes over there. Or you could say, oh, I'm at a train, and then people can find you. So you need points of the map like that. Also, you don't want too many points, because, like, on Breeze, there are only... I'm not sure exactly, five or six islands around. So when you're looking for people, you can go to Park or Town and you'd be like, okay, they're definitely not there. And it makes it a lot easier to find people because you can kind of like cross off these areas. So I suggest for layout, you draw, hand draw, or obviously you use a computer program, an initial map. And here's my initial map that I drew. And then obviously that translates into your final map layout as you can see in this render. Um, with your concept and layout, it's very important you have them, but you don't have to stick to them completely. As with my map, I saw from people's responses when I posted it on the forums that people weren't happy with the amount of water, so I've reduced the amount of water. So you do have to be flexible, but at the same time, it is very important to have a solid concept and solid layout. So moving on, terraforming. I highly suggest you use Voxel Sniper to terraform, or you can use World Edit. Some people use World Painter, which I'm not huge on, but it's a possibility, but definitely do not use default terrain, as everyone will just hate on the map. Um, there are lots of very good tutorials for Voxel Sniper, which I will post below from the Voxel Sniper wiki, and there's also World Edit wiki pages, and you can always ask other people and they'll help you. So, as you can currently see, I've mapped out the general terraforming and stuff. And once your general layout terraforming is done, you can start building. So here I've built my pirate ship, as that's the main part of the map. Um, you just want to make sure your builds are very detailed, high quality builds, so people obviously like them. Um, and you want the theme to be really solid in your builds. You don't want loads of different like modern and medieval builds because people just won't like the theme. You want to keep to one theme. Then fitting builds into the environment, you have to make sure that a building doesn't take up too much space, but takes up enough space in an area. So like it looks good, but at the same time, it will be good for gameplay. Like for instance, in this ship with the cave, there's enough space for people to run around the ship and jump up onto the ship. But at the same time, the ship is the focal point of the area. 
So there's a delicate balance on maps of many different features which make a good map. The main ones I would say would be concept, layout, gameplay, and look. You have to balance look and gameplay because you could have a very bad looking map which would have perfect gameplay but obviously people aren't going to like it because it doesn't look very good or you can have a perfect looking map but it lacks in gameplay because everyone's just focused on the builds rather than the gameplay so it's a very delicate balance and it's a bit hit and miss but you have to kind of gauge it in a way that it will be engaging in gameplay but still have that nice look also a good point would be don't be set in stone with what you're doing. Change your ideas. Um, if people don't like something, you should change it. Not necessarily like everything. Because um, you're catering for a lot of people. So if one person doesn't like something, it's fine. But if there's a general consensus for something, like on my map, a lot of people are like, oh, we're worried about the high amount of water. So I was like, okay, I'm going to reduce that high amount of water to make the map more applicable for them. So yeah, so just remember the main cons the main ideas you need for a good survival games map are concept, layout, gameplay, look. Hope this video has been maybe a little bit helpful for you. Um, and if you ever want to ask me about any map ideas you have or you want me to come look at your map, feel free to contact me on the MSG forums or Planet Minecraft. And thanks for watching. This has been 9 Fox 92 with this guide to build a Survivor Games map.